My name is Paul Xiefutai, and I come from Kaohsiung City, or known as Takao in southern Taiwan. Uh, in my bachelor, I studied clinical laboratory science, and starting from master, I switched into engineering in photonics. And here at OIS, I'm doing a PhD specialized in biomedical engineering. My PhD research is interested in brain cancer. So brain cancer are high mortality disease and patients who have it easily die despite of therapies within years or even months. So I'm interested in understanding the biology underneath it. So what I do is to build micro devices that we can recapitulate the environments within your body and start put cells on them to study how cells behave and try to figure out how we can stop the metastasizes of the cancer that can improve the patient quality of life. My wife is a working housewife and uh, while aside from supporting me at home, she also does freelance illustrations and some of them are also for several units at OIST to produce scientific illustration for publications purposes and I think there are a lot of opportunities at Voice also for spouses of staffs and students. So after I started my PhD, we had a baby girl here uh, while I'm doing the PhD studies. Uh, I think is certainly much more demanding for time management, uh, both for your research and as well you have to manage the time at home uh, much more carefully. But here at Waste we have very good housing for students as well as a kindergarten we call Child Development Center. Uh, my daughter goes to Child Development Center every working days and have an opportunity to learn Japanese and English and interact with kids from different backgrounds and different nationalities. And here at, in Okinawa, the environment is really good. It's slow paced and the kids have a, a lot of room to play, a lot of room to run and visit the beaches from time to time. I think that's a very good environment for the kids. I got my PhD in early March. So my next step is to look for postdoctoral research positions to continue on more advanced micro devices, more advanced microfluidic technologies to study cells and especially to reconstitute different parts of the human organs that we call organs on chip. That effort is to try to mimic humans as much as possible that we can use it to study disease processes and also for drug screening in effort in future that we can replace it, replace the animal testing completely. Uh, part of my PhD work created this open source software for our own research to analyze single cell behaviors uh, developed by me and my collaborators. And we later found out that using the artificial intelligence software powered by convolutional neural networks, we can analyze different microscopy images in high, re highly reliable manner. So we are exploring to adapt this technology, this AI technology, and we hope developing this technology can help not just university researchers, but also for clinicians, for doctors who are looking at pathology slides or looking at patient samples, they can extract more information to help them make clinical decisions.